everyone, I'm Lisa Ingalls coming to you from Evolution Trainers here in Mountain View, California. And today I'm with Jeff Shirley, who is our expert in injury prevention for peak performance. And today Jeff is going to be talking to us about how to minimize overuse injuries for endurance sport athletes. So welcome, Jeff. Thank you, Lisa. It's great to be here. Yeah, and you know I love this topic as a runner myself. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yeah. Uh, so with endurance training, great, great activity, very popular activity, but one of the dangers of the endurance training is that there is a very high volume of you know, work and a lot of repetition performed, which increases the likelihood of injury. Uh, interval training is a great way to kind of supplement endurance training and reduce the overall total amount of volume. Yeah, and I know as an endurance sport athlete, one of the concerns is, am I gonna compromise my cardiovascular um, conditioning by lowering my volume, but well, with the, well, with interval training, you actually can get high intensity in a lo and low volume, which means it's going to help you, in, you know, reduce your volume. But you can also get the same cardiovascular benefits uh, as you would for endurance training in a lot less time. Great. So let's just dive in and and sort of give us some pointers here on the interval training. Well, one pointer, first of all, if you're you're gonna get involved in interval training, you probably wanna have a little more of a cardiovascular base to work with, but if for the purpose of reducing injuries, you wanna pick an activity that's a little bit different than what you're doing for your endurance training, mm -hmm. um, and you're performing high bouts of high intensity followed by uh, bouts of short rest and alternating those periods of uh, rest and work. Okay, so as let's just use running as an example. I'm a runner. What type of specifically interval training would you have me do? So as a runner, you can just do you know, on a track or on a trail, wherever you are, you can do maybe a quick 30 second high intensity sprint as fast as you can, followed by a period of recovery. And depending on your fitness level, maybe it's a minute recovery, maybe it's a minute and a half, maybe it's 30 seconds. It all depends on where you are in your interval training and, and how advanced your fitness level is. Awesome. So it, it, it doesn't matter as well what type of sport you're in. If you're cycling, you can do it on the bike, on the running, whatever. Exactly. Nice. Mm -hmm. All right. Any other pointers? No, I think that's pretty much it. For All right. right. Thank you. Awesome. Well, thank you, Jeff, for sharing that with us today. And well, we're going to have you back for more. All right. Excellent. All Excellent. right. Thanks, everyone. I'm Lisa Ingalls, and we'll see you next time.